16, Lesson 1, Classifications of Highways. Highway driving is stressful on drivers because traffic moves very fast. To be a low-risk driver on highways, you need to learn skills that help you that keep you safe as you enter, drive on, and exit highways. Explain the difference between highways that are fully controlled access and those that have non-controlled access. Three classifications of highway system. Three classifications of highways are interstate highways, U.S. highway systems, state highway systems. Some states also have county highways, which have the same characteristics as state highways. Name and design features for highways vary. Sometimes freeways are called expressways, expressways are, are called freeways. Interstate highway system. In the, in, the, in the interstate system, every access has to be a fully controlled access, which means that vehicles can enter and leave only at designed interchanges. Interchanges are places where drivers can cross over or under traffic as well as enter and leave freeways. There is a uniform standard for signs for interstates. The interstate highway sign is a red, white, and blue shield. The even numbered routes run east and west with the lower numbered routes beginning in the south. The odd number routes go north and south with the lowest number beginning on the west coast. Freeways have at least two travel lanes going in opposite directions. Traffic is separated by grade elevation, which means that bridges and tunnels are used to direct traffic over, over or under other traffic lanes. Without traffic lights or stop signs, the freeway can accommodate a large volume of traffic and reduce the potential for high-speed rear-end crashes. Freeways can have tolls. The word free in freeway, freeway refers to the fact that traffic, traffic can flow freely without traffic lights. Expressways. The difference between a freeway and expressway is that an expressway may have non-controlled access. This means that expressways could have traffic lights, intersections, and driveways. If you predict that there could be a traffic light or a vehicle entering from a side road, you will have an ample time, you'll have ample time to adjust your speed and control the traffic to the rear. If you are suddenly confronted with stopped vehicles, stopped traffic, you will be at great, great risk of rear-ending ending the vehicle ahead of you or being rear-ended by others behind you. Describe the three kinds of highways that are located in each state. Turnpikes and parkways. Turnpikes are used to design a toll road. However, many of the highways classified as turnpikes are no longer charged tolls. Commercial traffic and billboards are prohibited on, t on parkways. Some parkways may have traffic lights to accommodate cross traffic, which can create a dangerous situation. U.S. Highways most of the state's highways and U.S. highways have non-controlled access. Non-controlled access allows drivers to enter and leave the highway from any point. U.S. highways have intersections and controlled lights to separate cross traffic. 
This makes traveling slower and more dangerous than being on a controlled access freeway. State highways. The state highway system is an internet interwork of highways within the boundaries of the state. State highways can be narrow two-lane road, roadways, expressways, and other ways. Other may be controlled access freeways. Describe the four different types of highway interchanges. Freeway interchanges. The four most common types of freeway interchanges are cloverleaf, diamond, trumpet, and all directional interchanges. The name of each interchange are based on their shape. A cloverleaf interchange has inter entrance and exit ramps that resemble the outline of a four leaf clover. This type of exchange enables drivers to proceed in either direction on either roadway. A diamond interchange is used when a road that is crossing a busy highway has little traffic. A trumpet interchange is used where one highway forms a T intersection with a freeway. An all directions interchange is used in compliant in complicated intersections with high volume traffic. This kind of interchange channels traffic in many different directions. Review. Explain why knowing the difference between a fully controlled access highway and a non-controlled access highway helps to make you a low-risk driver. Name four types of interchanges and how they help to keep traffic flowing.